What's up guys, Blade Master here, going to be bringing you game 3 of round 3 between Bobby and Grill. A final conclusion, there was a bit of desync in game 2 which uh, made Bobby actually win the game. I, I'm, I believe um, Grill won with uh, Nervi in the second game after losing with Epris in the first game. Let's see what happens in game 3 and if there's going to be a shit ton of desync which completely changes the outcome of the game. Who knows? We have... Tanez, we have Egypt, and we have Gedai. Grill has taken Gedai, Bobby has taken Egypt, and we're fighting in Tanez. Let's take a look at the Egypt build. Wow, this is poor. We've got one, two, three, four Nubian spearmen. Ugh, why? Okay, we've got an Egyptian infantry, we've got three Egyptian slingers, we've got four thorax swords, and we've got three Galatian royal guard. No, two Galatian royal guard and a royal peltis. We've got an Egyptian cavalry, a citizen cav, an Egyptian cavalry, and one citizen cav. Poor build. Have to say. Very, very poor build. There's a reason why I don't want anyone to pick Thorax Swordsman. In buffing Thorax Swordsman will only make all factions fight like one, bring a lot of melee infantry. I want people who, I want factions who have access to pikes to bring pikes. So Levy Pikeman would have been so ideal against Gedai here. Gedai is one of the most powerful factions in Blade Balance because uh, they have good spears which have a lot of javelins. They have, uh, you know, their horse archers, they've got everything. They've got a lot of um, versatility. They don't have any good melee, mid-tier melee infantry, but they've got good uh, buffed up um, uh, mid-tier spears to make up for that. Egyptian camelry gonna pull away. Ooh, Bo Horseman getting super close to the Egyptian camelry. Uh, but the Nubian Spearman should... I don't know why he brought Nubian Spearman. Should have just brought Egyptian Pikes. What really was the Gedai going to do? I mean, he has Egyptian Slingers to take care of any, uh, you know, enemy uh, long-range skirmishes. So I'm not really sure why he decided to bring Nubian Spearman. Yeah, the Thorax Swordsmen are going to get destroyed by the uh, elite tier swords of um, Gedai. Bow Horseman actually about to get caught by Egyptian Camelry. What? <laughs> How did this happen? The Bow Horseman just got slaughtered. But Heavy Spear is going to help out and they're going to get a nice Javelin Volley off on the, onto the Egyptian Camelry. But they're going to pull away. They get two Javelin Volleys off, I think. Yeah, they get two Javelin Volleys off. Smart use. Uh, Egyptian Camelry lost quite a few men. And uh, the Citizen Cap have lost two men. Nubian Spearman going to help support. But the, the Spear Horseman actually have to pull back now. The heavy spears are going to destroy this. Um, they still have cavalry counter tactics on, so the uh, the uh, Egyptian cavalry, while they pull through the not pull through, but while they engage the heavy spears, they're going to lose a lot of men there. Seventy five bonus versus cav, uh, bo bonus versus cav there, and the spear horsemen go to charge into the citizen cav. Beautiful little flank engagement here. Lots of micro going on. Finally pulls back the Egyptian cavalry, but now the spear horsemen are just going to round up and destroy the citizen cav. The Nubian spearmen really can't do much but except pull back and let the heavy spears take uh, charge from the Egyptian cavalry. But now the heavy spears are heavy, so they won't take the most amount of damage from that. Noble horsemen general going to help support and kill off that Egyptian cavalry there. The Egyptian cavalry would have been very crucial because the spear horse horsemen have very poor morale and that scare horses trait of the Egyptian cavalry could have been very, very crucial. The Noble Horseman has not lost a single unit and the Heavy Spears are going to do a great job in killing off the Egyptian Cavalry here. Meanwhile, Egyptian Cavalry go to charge into Heavy Spears and then the Falksmen behind them are going to take a brunt of the charge. Going to lose a lot of men there and Heavy Spears are going to uh, get fairly hit but not too, they're not going to take too much damage. Let's see what else is there. You can see one, two, wait, let's see. One Heavy Spears, one, two, three, four Spear Warriors and a second Heavy Spears there. We can also see one Falksman back there. Another Falksman over here who have done a great job killing off that Spear Horseman. Oh, sorry, Citizen Cav. A total of four Spear Horsemen. Uh, one Bow Horseman only, one Noble Horseman General. Two Dacian Heavy Skirms. A third Falksman. A total of three uh, Noble Swords. And that's about it. It's a very cool uh, Gedai build. Powerful Gedai build. So the Galatian Royal Guard going to kill off the Heavy Spears who have actually done decently so far but the Foxmen now are going to get a nice charge onto the Galatian Royal Guard. It doesn't look like the Galatian Royal Guard are going to be able to uh, turn around. Wow, the Foxmen are really going to pay for themselves here and then that Noble Horseman General is going to charge into them. Look at the amount of damage these guys take. 32 kills on the, on the Foxmen. Galatian Royal Guard going to help out, no, Thorax Horseman going to help out kill off the, the Spear Horseman. One of the Spear Horsemen pulling back, the Noble Horseman should really pull away from this engagement. Galatian Royal Guard going to get destroyed here. Meanwhile, 
the spear warrior is gonna get destroyed by thorax swordsman and nubian spearman but that this bunching up from bobby means that the spear warrior is going to be able to rear charge these uh egyptian uh these nubian bo nubian spearmen or chase after the egyptian slingers galatian royal guard going to try and help support but that means the noble horseman in any case is going to be able to get into the slingers the dacian heavy skirmishers meanwhile are fighting into thorax swordsman but honestly, that's, it's better off that they just fire into the citizen cab and the Egyptian camelie because they are wreaking havoc, getting into the rear of uh, spear warriors. Not really pulled through here because they pull, they simply pulled away from the spear warriors here. Meanwhile, these spear horsemen not being used by, by Grill, just, oh wow. So he did overpower the spear warriors, but now this noble sword is going to get a beautiful charge on so many units that the Egyptian cavalry are forced to pull away. Meanwhile, the Galatian Royal Guard have gotten 139 kills and get, gotten a lot of kills on the noble, uh, noble horsemen. But um, yeah, they basically the the uh, Grill's left flank is uh, decisively in his favor. Noble horsemen should rear charge all of these units with a stampede charge or trample charge. Egyptian cavalry and citizen cav are basically dead. I don't know why no, uh, you know, uh, camel archers were brought by Grill. Oh, sorry, by Bobby. Would have been an excellent tool here. Thorax swordsman going to get rear charged by noble horseman. Going to get destroyed. Noble horseman general gotten 49 kills, decently done. Galatian royal guard taking damage from the Dacian heavy skirmishers. Dacian heavy skirmishers have shield screen and have quick reload, so they should be pretty, pretty good. Uh, yeah, now they're getting some more shots onto the Galatian royal guard, but they're not taking much damage actually. Egyptian slingers. Uh, going to get destroyed by the spear horseman noble swords here gotten 46 kills killing off a lot of the thorax swordsmen killing off a lot of the nubian spearmen and then the egyptian cavalry Ooh, wow those two got a beautiful charge onto the spear horseman but noble swords going to come in to support egyptian infantry not really sure what uh, bobby's doing with them there uh, galatian royal guard taking damage from the dacian heavy skirmishers they should move in a little bit so that they can get uh, more number of kills uh, it has to be very a friendly fire here. Noble Horseman got a beautiful trample charge and uh, gonna pull away. That is good. That's fine. I mean, he just pulls away, doesn't pull through them. And uh, Spear Horseman gonna move away. And yeah, the cab in the back of this Egyptian line is not gonna be good for them. Spear Horseman pulling away from that engagement, then should just charge into the Egyptian Slingers. Nubian uh, Spearman actually doing decently enough, but the Egyptian cavalry really gonna die. Uh, after not doing too much because of the noble sword support and the thorax swordsman dying where is the other galatian royal guard there were three right there's one dead another one that's at 95 men where's the third one where's the third one hmm the third one is nowhere to be found is that is that uh yeah i guess that speaks volumes the the, the other Gal galatian royal guard didn't really do much foxman here behind could be a huge huge help Royal Pelt has got recharged by Spear Horseman, engaged with an, uh, you know, slightly depleted Noble Swords. And it's all about rear charges now, boys. You're about to see them rear charges. Now, the Falksmen have are wavering, haven't done too much. But going to get some critical kills on Citizen Cav, I would assume, before they're out. Nope, they don't really do much. Uh, noble Swords now just in time to uh, countercharge these Egyptian Camelry. A citizen cavalry and thorax swordsman and royal pelt is going to do a lot of damage here uh, already gotten a single xp chevron and they but they get rear charged by this noble horseman that is about to get a double xp chevron the general is proving to be quite the quite the nuisance if they get charged this royal, galatian royal guard they will do extremely well because then the foxmen are going to be able to get a nice charge in on them uh, noble swords it's all about that elite uh, you know quality of them going to hold up all of those thorax swordsmen who've done okay but you know i still think some pikes would have been much deadlier nubian spearmen going to charge into um, uh, spear horsemen but should be used in a support role you can see that light mass not doing them any favors they do get 79 kills but the spear horsemen going to kill them off Galatian Royal Guard don't know what to do. They're going to charge into the Spear Horseman and the Falksman going to actually get countercharged by Thorax Horseman. Smart play from Bobby because that Galatian Royal Guard uh, would have been destroyed by the Falksman, by rear charge from Falksman. But now this Galatian, Nubian, no, sorry, Noble Swords is going to countercharge the Thorax Horseman. Uh, Noble Horseman down to 24 men should just honestly pull back his general. He's done beautifully with them. Royal Pelt's general has gotten destroyed. But now it's better for him to just keep his general safe. But honestly, there's no way uh, Geta is going to be able to lose this. This very, uh, you know, unusual build from Bobby has um, not worked out for him. All those Thorax Swords, uh, 
you know didn't really pay off the galatian royal guard were used uh, you know far too aggressively in my opinion he brought so many nubian spearmen but didn't keep them as um, you know uh, charge bait for the most important units in the galatian royal guard instead they got completely destroyed by falsman and by the noble horseman general of kedai very smart play with the general of um, uh, by grill this noble horseman unit is definitely it's it could be a strong unit but it has to be used very very conservatively and should be used absolutely in the right engagements not letting the noble horseman uh, get killed by enemy cavalry was also a really good play from from grill and that means that he's going to be able to move on to round 4 aka quarter finals i'm not really sure i think those are the quarter finals you can see oh only two galatian royal guard were brought yeah so one galatian royal guard did okay but at the end of the day, it was left at half strength, which means it was chasing after the wrong units. Thorax swordsmen, for the most part, didn't really do much. You'd see they killed some of the spear warriors, but besides that, didn't really do anything. Nubian spearmen, huge disappointment. Egyptian slingers could have brought the Nubian bowmen instead. And uh, I would, I really like to bring Nubian bowmen because you can stack on some flaming shot with the caval Egyptian cavalry uh, scare horses. And they could have probably routed some of the spear horsemen pretty quickly. Uh, Dacian Heavy Skirmishers didn't really do much. The Foxmen were of pretty valuable use. And of course, it was uh, up to the elites to save the day. One of the Spear Horsemen did really well. 325 kills, killed off all the Egyptian Slingers and got some rear charges, I would assume, against maybe the Nubian Spearmen. And the Noble Swords carried the day along with the Noble Horsemen. Very, very interesting game. And that means I'm not going to let uh, I'm not going to give Bobby the chance to replay the first game because I mean he won the first game sure he did some pull through but at the end of the day Grill has won round three so there's no real point in them replaying when Grill has already won it and has advanced to the next round. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, set of battles between Bobby and uh, Grill and uh, stay tuned for more peace.